In this video, I will be showing you how to add artwork like this in the description of YouTube videos or YouTube comments. So I was able to find this website, and I'll actually have a, a link to this website in the, in the description of this video. But basically, it allows you to uh, make art based on ASCII, which I'm not sure what that stands for. But um, it actually converts what you uh, draw into a text, into this type of text here. And then you can use that text, copy it, and then paste it onto your... Um, Either your, the description of the video or the um, comment section right here. So let's draw something simple. Let's draw, I don't know, a smiley face? Huh, I guess so. I'm gonna um, undo that. Let's do this for example. It's good. There we go. Let's make a happy face, because that's how I feel today. <laughs> yep, I'm happy today. Alright, there we go. That looks like a cute little uh, happy face, doesn't it? Yep. So, all you need to do after you draw this, uh, after you draw things there, let's see, you can also, it looks like you can also, uh, remove some parts to it, um, you can also use the space bar to align uh, to align these things, but let's just go back. There we go. There's your smiley face. So now what you need to do is copy uh, either highlight with the marquee or copy it right from here. You press copy. And now if you paste it into the comment section, this is what it looks like. There you go. I'm gonna. Get, there's also another thing you can do. Let's delete this comment, for example. Let's delete this comment, and I'm gonna show you another thing you can do. Now, there's two modes here. There's a coarse grid, which is a bigger grid, and then there's a fine grid, which is basically smaller. Um, smaller pixels, so you can create pixel art even more precise and more detailed here. So I'm gonna, uh, get rid of this. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna... Okay, there we go, let's, let's see what I can draw. Um, I'm gonna... Okay, I have an idea what I should draw. It's a little hard, harder to do it here. Um, because the screen is smaller. See, I guess that's fine. This is what it would look like if you use the, the fine grid. You can also change the uh, background color. Let's see what it's like if it's black. Obviously, you don't want that. I don't know if there's an... It doesn't look like there's an... Oh, there is an op... No, there's no option that... Um, there's no option that uh, lets you... How should I say this? There's no option that lets you make the background completely white. But I'll show you in a moment... Let's see what four color. Um, these don't seem to do anything. Let's copy this, then post it here. I'll show you. There you go. It's po it's uh, pasted. Um, and then you can get rid of the white background by doing this. If you see here, but I wouldn't recommend it because things will get disaligned. Um, and you'd have to just kind of difficult to do. Uh, you can get rid of the, the uh, light right here, but I'm going to leave it in. And I'm actually going to have you play around with some of this stuff. I'm not going to show you everything, but you can easily play around with what's on that website. Uh, I'm going to show you some more features now. Let's just see what happens. Yep, sub to me. Yeah, 
You can do that if you want. Or anyways, I'm going to delete that comment now. And then I want to show you a little something else you can do. Um, there are many images here that were drawn from from the this editor here. You can, and there are so many options. And I don't know how many options there are, but there are a lot of options here. Let's try an Apple logo. Actually, yeah, let's try an Apple, Apple logo. I don't want to, no ad. Let's copy this into, uh, let's just say the description. And there you go. There's your Apple logo. Now, I saved it. Video, let's see what happens now. Uh, okay, here we go. There you go. There's your Apple logo. Now, I'm going to get rid of this now. Show you again in the comments what would it look like. Um, actually, I'm also going to show... Oh, I'm going to show you this instead. Okay, so this is what happens if you get rid of the, um... The gray, ba the gray, uh, type... Light gray background that you see here. I'm going to... There we go. You, you, you. You, you, you. You, you. Alright, this might take a little bit. All right, there we go. Now that's just the easy part. You can also do this, which makes it align the text a lot better. And then, let's see, I'm gonna see how am I gonna do this. There we go. I guess that's that's okay. All right, hold on. This thing is really annoying. There we go. Let's align that. Then do this one. Oh my god. So it is kind of tedious to do this. Um, but I'm going to show you anyway. Alright, here we go. This one's an easy one, actually, to align. Because there's not a lot of gray, light gray, ex excess light gray here. There we go. No, just that one. That one. Okay. There we go. You. This one here. You. This one. And you. And then. And then this one here. And there you go. There's your Apple logo. I'm going to save it now. And then let's see what happens if I, uh, when we uh, refresh the page here. Let's see what it looks like. What happened to it? Hold on. Copy paste. I don't. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I know what it is. Okay, it's in the description. But here's here's the app logo. I think I made some I think I made some mistakes trying to align it, but I think it looks really cool. So that's all for this video, guys. And uh, if you find this helpful, don't uh, hesitate to like or even subscribe to my channel with more tutorials on the way. And I'll see you in the next video.